Welcome, everyone. We're Jason and Christy. Hello. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, what do we got today? All right, so in this video, I would like to uh, share with you my top three best practices or lessons learned after being moving through psychological testing for an entire day. I had a scheduled psychological testing for specifically for autism. That's what I requested. Uh, and it took me quite a while to get the appointment. It was seven hours long. And um, there are some basic takeaways I'd like to share with you today if you are about to move through this uh, and you just want some tips. So my first tip is <laughs> uh, confirm that the person you're going to see is certified in diagnosing you with autism. Uh, I had asked this multiple times, can this person tell me if I'm autistic? And I was trying to communicate, can this person diagnose me with autism? The answer to that question is I spent uh, four hours and seven hour testing and four hours in, I was told that uh, she didn't have the authority to diagnose me with autism. So I was essentially wasting my time. Um, and even though I asked multiple times, I didn't specifically ask, is she certified to diagnose me in autism? And essentially at the end of the day, uh, the military doesn't do this. I was at a military uh, facility because I'm active duty and they simply don't, um, they don't do this. And so I didn't know that they don't do ADHD or any of those things apparently. And so just make sure before you go that this, um, that whoever you're going to see can diagnose you with autism. And this will one also way one way or the other. And if you are going to be diagnosed with autism, it will also help my understanding with any uh, medical support on the back end in the civilian sector uh, to have it prop to be properly diagnosed. Uh, so that's a that's just something to look out for if you are um, going to get testing. Number two would be um, to list out your talking points. Something that I experienced was I was consistently asked why do you think you're autistic, and I knew what all of the reasons and my experiences within um, my mind, and I thought that I would be able to relay them. But what happened was I was consistently interrupted. So it was pretty consistent that I would say this is an experience I had in childhood. And then we would talk about that for like 20 minutes. And then they're like, oh, okay, what else do you think? And I would say, well, I had this experience. And then that would be that, you know, it was a constant disrupting me from like going through uh, all of the things. I did eventually through the seven hours uh, communicate everything that I felt were uh, lifelong experiences that resonated deeply with me and uh, were pointing to a strong case that I, I've been autistic to include my mom, my mom taking me in to receive therapy younger, uh, communicating there might be something wrong that she didn't feel I was ready to go to school yet and all of those things along with some childhood experiences. But like essentially I would have felt more supported if I had them listed so I could just like check them off as we discussed them. And the third thing I would say, which was so incredibly important for me was supporting myself through the process. So um, it was really important to me that I had, you know, the time to go. And then I had the next day to recover and recuperate from the session because it was extremely psychologically demanding and exhausting. And so uh, I brought lots of water with me. Uh, Jason like packed a lunch or, you know, he, he cooked a lunch for me. So I had that, I had snacks. Um, and then I had, I just had everything I needed. I brought my headphones with me. Um, I had everything I needed to support myself for the entire day. And having that lunch was really, really important because I actually went to eat the lunch in my car and just to have some quiet time. And I called Jay just to talk out what had happened in the morning session and my experiences and like work through some upsets and, you know, feel my feelings and do that. And so I think that that was really, really um, critical to me, having the psychological fortitude to get through the end of the day. And the day off the next day really helped because I was still moving through a lot of thoughts and feelings and things associated with the session. And so I think those would be my uh, top three things to recommend anyone who's going to get testing is uh, ensure that your, your, uh, your doctor is certified to support you in identifying if you are or are not autistic. I can't communicate how important this is because um, as I've unpacked what the person told me, a lot of what she told me wasn't aligned with what I've read in psychological peer-reviewed journals, research articles on autism presenting in females. 
everything she was telling me what was is what is written on autism presenting in males and how she explained what was going on with me is actually exactly what these research articles say happened to women with autism. It was almost where I thought maybe she was trying to tell me I was autistic without telling me I was autistic, but I didn't know. And I can only take her word for what she communicated. And so um, it's just something to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. Number two is list out your talking points. And number three is to make sure you're completely supporting yourself with rest on both ends and then, you know, whatever you need for the day. So. Good. Yeah, that's all I have for this one. Okay. Okay. So there you have it, folks. Uh, yeah, you, you certainly don't want to waste your time. Um, or your money. Or your money. Yeah. Uh, if you, like, if, the, if, yeah, if things aren't covered down, uh, it could be quite pricey to, to find yeah. what you're looking for. Uh, and at the end of the day, you only, you know, if, if, you, if you really want the truth, um, whether you are autistic or not autistic, Either one is fine, uh, mm -hmm. but there's different operating systems to both of those things. And so you do want to know uh, the truth so that you are aligned to the correct operating system for you. Uh, and that's a total game changer to your life, you know, especially understanding uh, how you interact with uh, different, you know, any, pretty much any situation uh, mm -hmm. in your life. And so that's the important part. Um, and, you know, finding the truth is, is what you, what you should aim for. So. Yeah, I think we'll do another video kind of unpacking the visit itself and a little bit about like uh, more in regards to that piece of it. And you, like, uh, if you're interested, you can check that out on our channel. Um, but yeah, it's really important that if you do have an experience and it's not what you expect or you feel like it didn't go your way, remember it's not, you know, you can get a second opinion and um, it's okay to process everything that was given to you and, you know, continue on with what feels good in your heart and what, you know, your experiences are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, folks. See you later.